Hello everyone, my name is Natalie and I am here with Corey, all the way over there. Oh. But we are back at Madison Seminary and we're gonna do another ghost hunt. We booked the same privately, so we have the whole thing to ourselves for the night. But the the video that this is that you're watching right now, this isn't gonna be the investigation. This is just gonna be us walking through and exploring the building. Because I figured since it was daylight out and like we could actually see, then I'd be able to get a good video of just, you know, exploring. Not anything paranormal, just exploring. So, okay, listen, when you first walk in, this thing has been creeping me out all night. Like, we've barely been here for very long at all. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, two hours. Yep. We've been here two hours. We did like a little tour and then we did part of an investigation already and then that's what gave me the idea to like do this before it gets dark out. But this thing, I keep thinking it's a real person. Walking through this main door, you got a hallway that goes this way and then you have another one that goes this way. Do you remember what she said was the smaller part of the building? So then we'll do that first. I think this way is the smaller part because I'm pretty sure the staircase down there goes up to the attic, which would be like bigger. So I think we I need to go this way. I think we went up first and then we came and it went down. Okay. Well, I'll start with the basement just cause it was small down there. This room, we didn't go in this one last time. It also didn't have beds, but now it does. And there's like, a, it looks like a creepy little doll or something in this. That's creepy. this part was I know she said something about Blanche I think this was for like the women in the prison mm -hmm. something like that so I'm also not really gonna share too much of the history because if you want to see my history um, you can watch the uncut version that I have of Madison Seminary and the entire tour is the first hour so you get the whole tour everything that we listen to and what we heard again today did you find something? Oh, I'm just reading the junk board. It's creepy, creepy here. here. <laughs> it's creepy here. It sure is. It sure is creepy. It's creepy Ooh, here. Look, dominoes. Oh, want to see something? That's what I call a domino effect. Thank you, thank you. We'll be here all <laughs> This is dangerous That's and we should crap. keep- the camera just stopped recording. I want to peek in here. It looks kind of scary in there. I wish I could go in, but it's it's dangerous. Keep out. <laughs> oh. It's just because a bunch of insulation is hanging down. Oh. Uh, so this in here, I don't think there's a, maybe a light. Oh, the light doesn't work. Oh, thanks, Corey. This is the bathroom. Um, Last time I was in here, oh wait. This, we kept hearing like a dripping noise and I don't know if it came from the bathroom or if it was coming from that room that we were just in. They, look how like tiny these showers are. And also, look at this. This is what messed me up last time I was here. You can't even close the stall door because the toilet's in the way. Like surely it wasn't Dang. like that when they like were here. Cause that point, it's like, what's the point of putting a door? There's a mop there. The hair filter. Just hang it out. Just hang it out. Oh, look, another chalkboard. I really like this little projector screen. I just, I think it's so cute. One day I want to make a little movie and I want to project it onto a projector and watch it. With all my friends. <laughs> all three of my friends. You're one of them. Max Warner. Billy. <laughs> Bro, oh yeah, Brandy Farts. <laughs> Brandy Farts. It says it right here. Brandy, Brandy Farts. 
Oh, don't forget to show them the map for more and more. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a map from World War II. And like, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but also like the map's super old. But if you notice, Corey pointed this out earlier, Alaska is over here. And then like North America. So like it goes off and then like, you know, onto the other side. But that's so cool because, you know, you don't normally see maps like that. Normally you see mainly North America. Or at least I do anyways. Oh, and that still says USSR instead of Russia. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wait, what's this say? Oh, that says Asia. Burn. And then they got this little strawberries. Oh, it's a biology book. Oh, look, this is another, like, old map underneath of that. What's Europe? Uh-huh. Austria-Hungary. Yeah. But this one has... Oh, yeah, it has Ottoman Empire. And we'll check out all of these old books. Like, I don't want to touch them because I don't want, like, yeah, I don't want to break them anymore, but... Really Those are really neat. I, I love Madison Seminary. I love this place. It's so... I don't know. I mean, it's kind of the sister to Fairfield. Probably I associate them together because of Adam, but... I don't know. I love it. Have you ever met the man? I have not. I've never met. Look, okay, listen. Let me show you guys right here what I'm seeing. Look at this. You can't tell me that this isn't just some woman standing here scaring the crap out of me. And her children, her many children. Oh. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Would you just look at it? Oh, you can really hurt something away with that. <laughs> That was me squeezing my foot on the ground. See, I did it again. Is this Madison Seminary? Oh, it is. Okay. It's, there's a little glare. I don't know who these people oh, are. Oh. Um, Bill and Tom. No, 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 these are probably the people that, that lived in the, she said. Oh, Mary and Otis? Maybe, maybe. So, like the superintendent and his wife say. Maybe. He Possibly. quote unquote killed. Could be. I love this that is him. Though. This nice is mustache. like. I enjoy the mustache. That is a very nice mustache. Are you a mustache man? Well, especially if they look like that. This, this one's was like, Russian house. I'm gonna give you a deal. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <Waluigi>. <laughs> <laughs> See, Kayla and I, we didn't come on this floor last time we were here. Or we didn't really come up this way too much. <laughs> That's cute. Not really, I mean, they're kind of scary. Feather duster. Little guy. A feather duster? What? This is good. Not An old sewing machine. Two old sewing machines, actually. Singer. <laughs> Daisy Duplex. <laughs> Yarn sewing attachment. Oh. Okay, we have to keep out of those ones. It's dangerous to go down. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You afraid you're gonna get got? It's dangerous to go down. Oh, what's this? Be the light in the darkness. No. Fine. Make all the ghosts very angry. I don't know. I don't want to do that either. <laughs> Necklace flew at me and my friends off a doll in Sarah's room. Well, ain't that just the pace? Wow. That's from 7-30-2015. Wow, that was a while ago, but... 11-20-21. It's been a cold. Brr. <laughs> <laughs> There's very differences here. <laughs> <coughs> I got attacked. Well, I got choked out by a demon. 
very cold burr. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, we got attacked and thrown an object at. It's been a cold burr. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> I, you know that they say finna and that just really ages you. When was that? Like 2015? 2021. 20, oh, 2021. 20, mm-hmm. Finna. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> cold burr. <laughs> Oh, you think oh this must have been like the little school. The, oh, okay, like look. Okay, they have all these little, little desks for like little kids, like little kid desks. Look at that. Here, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> the Civil War in West Virginia: A Pictorial History. Hmm. I stand up. I stand up for Jesus, your soldiers of the cross. All right, that's a couple of bars <laughs> for you. <laughs> See that? That could be good. Hey, hang on now. I'm still Well, you'll you'll survive. They're not going to get you. You never know that. They could. Well, if I mean, if they get you, whether I'm with you or not, not much I can do about that. Dragoons. Dragoons? Dragoons! It says 17th night dragoons! Who are these? All these people in the war? One of the two regular British cavalry regiments sent to America during the War of Independence, a small party of the 17th dragoons! <laughs> My camera's so blurry right now. A bunker hit. Dragoons! It's because of the night. No, it's just like bullet not focusing. Well, you know, maybe and there's like, another person in here with us, as oh, I say, dragoons. I got it to work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, they could have been. Okay, and then, oh, here's another chalk thing. More chalk thing. Any funny sayings on here? Walmart! <laughs> Walmart. Walmart crew here. I think. We had to go to this room. Oh, I did. Oh, we didn't go there at all. Mm -hmm. I think this is at the hallway, I think, where the the one union spy was. Mm -hmm. oh, I like looking at all the little trinkets. If that's the spy lady, that that's a. I she, agree. She does. Yeah, I agree too. If that's her. Okay, what's this say? Executive office orders of the. Uh, okay. Soldiers, sailors, marines, and their wives, widows, and army nurses. Oh, the same mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the same. So we're, we're one of the Yeah, very small little dining room area. That makes sense why they had classrooms if they had to live in that building so they talk their children. Yeah, that's probably what they did. Yeah, and they're going to school. Another old dress and some little gun shoes. Civil War Cadet Musket. The Ten Commandments. I know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm assuming that this was like their little living area, or well, not for the main like superintendent, but for like the other people. Yeah. Unless they just staged all the rooms with beds, which that I mean wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Well, that was all of this side of the building. So now we'll make it to the other side. To the other side. So the, <laughs> when Kaylin and I went in there, the water was so cold and it would not get hot.
<laughs> so I was literally like already shivering and I'm just like sticking my hand in like ice water. Just like, like right, <laughs> wash, wash it <laughs> and get the soap off. There's an aerial view. Oh, that's really nice. Wish it wasn't raining. I could use my drone and get some good shots of the place. But this was their little dining room area. Well, not really little, more of a big dining room area. And they have down there um, blocked off. I mean, it's kind of hard to see because my I don't have my light on me right now. But it goes all the way down there, and there is a little piano there. But you played it last time, but you can't this. Time. Yeah, we played it last time. It was pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> And then, yeah, this is just another way where you can see into the dining room that it kind of like goes off that way. I feel like I'm giving a house tour. It's like I've only ever been here once and I'm like, oh, I can tell you that whole biography. Down this little hallway in here, I believe she said this was their um, laundry room or like little laundry area. I'm assuming that these are some kind of like washer or dryer or at least like a washer. I don't know for sure, but that's my assumption. I don't think she even showed us that No, she just kind of pointed in here and said that it's more residual activity. This is where Kaylin and I heard the laugh. So I'm thinking that maybe like they were doing laundry and like we could hear their energy from them laughing, joking around. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. Where? Aww. Hello, little guy. How cute, how fun. I, don't know. I like that they have little like irons over here. They're iron irons? They're heavy irons. Oh, and more little ironing boards over there. I don't know what was in this room. This whole place, this like building's fascinating to me. Moving on. Huzzah. 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 So this in here is the whole room. There is a big hole on the floor in here. Oh yes, the room where all the dogs and people see there's a bomb bird underneath. Yeah, isn't that fun news? <clears throat> so apparently a lot of like locals would come in and say that there is a body buried in this room and they've had um I think this what ghost hunters was it that came mm -hmm. in and they had people bring an ex, ex what's it called? I want to not excavator. Uh, something to check in the ground and see if there's something there and they found something but they they weren't able to actually find it as they dug and they had little they had dogs come in which the dogs said that there was something oh yeah over this area where he's putting his flashlight so they're slowly making their way digging around to see if they can find anything and she said if they do that they're gonna dig up the entire floor so that'd be kind of cool if they do find something but definitely a lot of work so they pretty much got into like the line yeah. and like over here and then Yeah, so they they're slowly working their way out. Oh um, yes. Here's another chalkboard and there is a funny saying on this one. Small rats energy. <laughs> <laughs> small rats energy. Yes. I have a small rats energy. That's right. We just came from that way. Yes, so we go this way. Up the stairs. Huzzah! I love the wheelchairs. I love like the old kind of things. They look so cool. We put the flaps down and the trippy. Imagine I found a way in there and then it came up and I'm like, ma'am, do you have a chicken? <laughs> I think you can get in there from this room. Yeah! Oh, and look at the little tiny glasses. Oh, it broke off. That's unfortunate. This, that might have been, that might be Otis. I think this was his, his little room. Uh-huh. The 
This must be another little dining room area. So this was their living room area and she said that so in this little room back here this area is when they had friends over or family they would entertain them here and then there's another doorway right here that leads into another living room and this living room I guess was the more for like the main family like they'd come in here like when they're not trying to entertain others they would be in this <coughs> side rather than the other side. They yeah, they, they would entertain others on this side, but when they're not entertaining, this was their main living room. Yes. Which, right to this door, which is actually also connected to their living room, but through this door, this is this is Otis's bedroom. Um, we weren't in here too much when I was filming last time. Otis. I think that's his name, Otis. Otis. Yeah. You can just pronounce it Otis just to be fun. <laughs> Otis. Well, this is her bedroom. No, this is Otis's bedroom. I'm this, sure yeah, this one's Mary's bedroom. And it's got a dress on the door. To a wonderful friend and... See, that's another thing that's fascinating to me about this is like the fact that they had separate bedrooms because like I would never even think about that. I would think, you know, if I'm married, I'm just going to sleep in the same bed. They had separate bedrooms in some older TV shows as well. Huh. I don't know whose bedroom this is. This could have been the sis or the daughter, like the stepdaughter maybe. I don't think we walked in that one. This must be another one of Sarah's rooms, full of little toys. A ghost named Fred. Oh. That's creepy. Oh. Hmm. hmm. This room. I think it's so pretty in here. Take a picture. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. A big map of the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the TV. edibles <laughs> not the kind you're thinking oh that's of. the fake food yes not the kind you're the, thinking the of. fake bread fake food not not the you know another dining room area hmm. another bedroom This looks like it's another little kind of living room area. Oh, it's like a little doctor's office. I think I found the do little like doctor's nurses area. Cause there's like crutches and weights and stuff in there. Surgeon. Oh, I guess there was that surgeon area up there. Oh yeah, the devil's toy box. I'm definitely getting in that tonight. Why is it just a random casket? I wanted to ask that. 
It's just a random casket. They probably didn't know where to put it. And they're like, let's just put it here. But Next look at the this. Devil's <clears throat> So they were like, don't forget your dad. It's like, what? I think this room is absolutely so neat. I mean, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but let me turn my little flashlight on. This whole room, this all these are mirrors and the ceiling's mirrors. Eventually they're gonna get the floor. It's not mirrors yet, but it will be. But I think that's so even neat. Even the door has mirrors. Yeah, even the door has mirrors because it's part of the, the wall. But that's the devil's toy box. So like you can sit in it and like you're sitting in a portal that's bringing spirits through. So that's really neat actually. And this must be a little kitchen area because there is a big stove right there. And pots and pans and another wheelchair and a little high chair so they can eat. Aw, that's fun. That's so fun. This is the second floor. Yeah, this is the second floor, which this is the activity floor. Another little See? second floor. Huh. She said this is the room the floor of the activity. I think this is the room like with Sarah's room. This is Edge of I mean, it's a Poku. Yeah. Poor little god. Oh, oh another Whoa. Poku. What is happening? What kind of ritual sacrifice is going on in here? Any last words until you're put to death, Miss Adams? <laughs> she looks like she's like in an electric chair or something, but also at the same time, it kind of looks like you're getting married. I think you need to answer for your crimes, ma'am. I don't know. I think you need to answer. <laughs> Guilty until proven innocent. Killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like that. This, just another bedroom. I'm not, I'm not gonna spend too much time in those rooms, but I do wanna get to Sarah's room, which I think is at the other side of this hallway. More bedrooms. This bathroom actually, which, let me get my light back out. She's yeah, this is the one that she's, you know, still looking up the history to see if, you know, what happened is actually true. But supposedly around this corner, wow, this goes back farther than I thought. But someone had like taken this older lady back here and did some not so good things to her and then killed her. And the spirit that they talked to said that it happened here in this tub. And then there's other stories saying that it happened here at the sink, but she's currently looking up like the facts, trying to figure out, you know, if that actually happened or not, or if that's just something people are making up. <laughs> but down here, oh my God, <sighs> that jacket. <sighs> I thought someone was standing there again. I'm literally gonna have a heart attack tonight. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, down here, we're finally reached Sarah's room. Which is, you know, Sarah is the spirit of a little girl, or she could be the spirit of an elderly patient with dementia. She could be something that everyone just kind of manifested to a, become reality because we all believed her. I don't know. What are they called? Igrudor? Oh, I thought she was just like something like. Well, there's a specific term for something it. Something of the mind. For like when you like believe something enough that it becomes true. Yes. So Sarah could be that, or she could be a dementia patient who thinks that they're young, or she could just be a different, a bunch of different spirits coming in pretending to be Sarah. And here's the closet. Oh yeah, there's a closet which. She, they think that when the closet door is open that they get more activity. I don't really know how that works out, but. So a lot of people are saying that's a portal, but she doesn't believe. She doesn't believe it. I don't. I don't know if I believe. Yeah, when I say she, I'm talking about the tour guide. Um, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I'm take you out with my camera. All the furniture and stuff. Like since I was here last, like what five, six months ago. I don't know, but since I was here last, they've added a lot of furniture, a lot of beds, and. Was it December? Yeah, it was December when I went. December 31st, so I guess f almost five months. 
Four, almost mm -hmm. five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that would be almost four. Because we're three mm -hmm. going on four. We have one more area that we need to check out so I can show you guys. Um, and this is the attic. This is where they said it was um, the asylum where like mentally ill patients would be. So this big main area right here, this open space, this would have been their day room where they do their activities and hang out and just have some like a fun time. And the waiter even comes up to this way too. What? The waiter? Oh, the dumb waiter. And he comes up to this way. Wow. Goes to all the doors. Well, why not be? If I be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> This is nice. I like that radio. See, that bear's a lot cuter than the one downstairs. Yes. That child must be his So in this tiny little room, this was the surgeon's room. And he likes to be called the surgeon and not the doctor. And he also- This is a surgeon. Yeah. He doesn't really think women should have rights or talk to them, but the tour guide's also trying to teach him that, you know, life's different now and not like it was in the 1800s. Surgeon. Why is it red? Because <laughs> they turned the light on, <laughs> but I don't know why it's red. Okay, that just made it creepier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why is it red? I'm gonna have to turn on my uh, night what vision. We're even daylight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is all the. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm turning on night vision because I don't know what all lights work up here and what doesn't. Um, this is just a little attic area. Another little room. This is where we talk to the who they called the bad guy, but I don't think he's that bad of a guy. We talked to him for like 45 minutes when I was here she's with Kaylin. Like she said, as long as you give him respect, then yeah. we'll respect which, you back. Which, I mean, which that's not true. Like, I mean, anyway. if you're mean to me, I'll be mean to you, which will make me look like a bad guy. So I'm sure people just think that. Yeah, you give respect. I didn't even, I didn't come down here last time I was here. That's what I think. I think these, it's really weird that these rooms are oddly shaped. That's where they send children to keep their hands Oh yeah, the little, the, the twins. Yes. These are such tiny, teeny tiny rooms. Hmm. Oh. What the hell was that? Bat, bird. Oh. I can hear it growing. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, so we head back down and yeah. start from the beginning. Head down, get our stuff, and start an investigation because it is starting to darken up. So sorry I didn't make it up here before it got dark to actually show you guys. But yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of Madison Seminary. I know I didn't give you like too much history. Um, again, if you want to know the actual history, I will link down my videos below and you can watch it and find out for yourself. But that is it for this video and we will see you guys next time and stay tuned because we are about to start an investigation and you're not going to want to miss it because I don't, I don't know what's going to happen but I'm sure it's going to be good. Or checkers. Or checkers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.